Good. How you doing? Good. Yeah. You were involved in one of the craziest plays of the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, can you take us through that and, and what you saw and, and what you didn't see? You probably didn't see some of that, right? Yeah, uh, it was just one of those things. Coach uh, came to me on the sideline. We knew the game was ending, getting closer to the end. Knew the ball had to go back there. They had to start taking shots. So uh, this kind of had a little bit more depth in my, uh, my drop. I kind of saw the ball get thrown in the air. Tried to attack it, but at the same time, the other receiver from Nebraska attacked the ball, kind of ran into each other. But he took the, the grunt of the fall. Uh, while I looked back, kind of the ball was floating in the air. I knew the ball wasn't caught, and then kind of just heard the crowd yelling after. And I seen Kayla running down the sidelines, so I kind of figured that he got an interception after. But I didn't really get a good glimpse of it until after the game. And my friends uh, showed me the clips of it. So. so how long did it take you to realize that there was an interception? Uh, I was saying good like five seconds once I saw like oh the crowd is like celebrating. <laughs> and I saw my team right now I'm like oh right like we got intercepted. So it was one of those type of things. It was cool to see Kenny get his pick back. And I kind of uh, made me feel better because in Penn State game when you got the interception, I took it away from him. So <laughs> have you ever been a part of a play like that? As far as just the way the ball bounced around like that? Uh, that was probably one of the craziest plays I've ever seen. Just kind of being around the ball like that and seeing it pop around from a knee to an elbow to a hand is kind of <laughs> just. Life changing and life is different. So just to see it fall in Kevin's hands and for him to turn around with the ball is cool. So you guys have a very different challenge this week with the running back who's one of the best in the nation. As a safety, how can you help in run support? I mean, I hope I imagine you're hoping for fewer tackles because you know that means that they're they're stopping him closer to the line of scrimmage, right? Mm -hmm. Um it's one of those type things. We're gonna attack the the same way we do every week. You know he's a good running back, they have a good offense, but we're not going to look at our defense like we need to change anything. So we're going to come up there. We're going to play defense like we always do. And, you know, they run the ball, they run the ball. If they don't, then we're going to we're gonna change the game. So. What were you proudest about from the win and then specifically from what the defense did? Uh, one thing I'm really proud of is just our whole team. Like our camaraderie as a team, you know, is really big. You know, we've come together from a long, from week one all the way right now. It's to come together, like come together in a big way. So for us to come together and, you know, just play together like how we are is big for me. So. It's kind of a lesson in perseverance, right? Because you guys stuck with it even when you were one in five, and now you're kind of seeing the payoff. Uh, yeah, just being persevering. Coach always just kind of, kind of tells us to be disciplined in what we do and being disciplined every week and everything that we're doing. So just having a win and no process and being detailed in that is just something that he's preaching to us. What do you think of the throwbacks? Oh, uh, it's one of my first times waiting in the uniform. I saw it last year watching you guys playing it. It was kind of cool. So to be wearing it is like a blessing, kind of. So. How badly do you want to get a win on the Rose Bowl? Uh, so it's a dream of mine, being, being a kid that's always wanted to play here. I want to win in the Rose Bowl, it's really bad. So for us, we want all the fans in there this week to come out there and play in the Rose Bowl, pack it out, and show what the Brewers can do. What's it like playing in the Rose Bowl? I mean, you still haven't gotten the win, but it's still a pretty iconic venue. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. It's me having my own story, being on both sides of the Rose Bowl, being on the away side and the home side. Just having the whole atmosphere and having like the home crowd on your side is really cool at the Rose Bowl. So. Uh, a lot of the emphasis uh, continues to be on the discipline aspect, especially after some of the penalties picked up in the, the uh, game against Nebraska. Uh, how do you guys, you know, balance the fact that you guys won the game, but at the same time trying to, you know, hone in on, on that area and, and trying to minimize those kind of those kind of issues? Uh, Coach has kind of said that the, the penalties that we've gotten can kill us in the game. They can kind of make us lose the game. So we've kind of just been getting lucky with the penalties that we've been getting and you know I've been trying to fix those small little detailed aspects of the game and fixing those each discipline type problems so awesome yeah, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you